Today, I'm going to show you how to get the user path for a conversion in GA4 a Google Merchandise Shop. So we can see here the conversion is purchase and there were 1238 conversions in the month of August. So we have to check and see how we got this uh, user part. Okay, to see the user part for this, what we do is we go to explore on the left hand side menu, click on it. Then once you click on it, then you go to path exploration, click here. Then once you reach to this uh, reporting part of it, then you go to start over, which is here, click on it. And then you have two options, starting point and ending point. So we want the ending point because the ending point is the conversion and we want to go in reverse order. So what we do is click on it, click on event name. So the event name that we are looking for here is purchase. So these are all the events. Click on load more. Keep on clicking on load more till you get the event you are searching for. So I think in this case it was purchase. So let me see if purchase is here. No, it's not there. Let's click again. Okay. Come down. Yes, purchase is here. So click on purchase. Once you click on purchase, it will show you the event and the previous uh, events which were came. So now we want the user uh, path. So what you do for the step one, click on it. Click on page path and screen class. So when you click on it, it will show you the page URL. So before, of course, before uh, the purchase event happened, the order got completed. So that's why the purchase event happened. So now we want to see more user paths. Click on once click on this. So it will show you the previous page to that. Keep clicking till you reach to your particular page that you are looking for. So this is all the order uh, placement uh, pages. Let's click on basket again. Okay, then we have sign in. So let's click on sign in again. Uh, basket. Okay, let's click on it again. Yeah, so now these are the pages which have come for that particular uh, conversion, which is purchase. So now what we can do is based on the uh, conversion which came in for a particular date, you can shorten the date range. So say, for example, we want for the date of uh, September 1st, click on it, click on apply. So September 1st only, this will show the data for. Okay, once it loads, let's go back again, see purchase. There were 34 purchases, 19 from this user part and come to home page. Let's click on home page again and shows us sign in again. Ask it again. So this user went through this entire process like this. So there are multiple users which went like that. So these are the pages which were used before it was converted. All these are the pages. So like this, you can see what was the user flow to reach the conversion. So it need not be only for purchase. It could be anything else. In case you want to change this purchase to something else, click on purchase again. Then it will load the events again. So you can choose whichever event you have set up on your Google Analytics 4 account. It could be a brochure download. It could be a form submission. Whatever you have submitted, whatever you've set up as an event, you can track it. If you have any questions regarding setting this up, please let me know. Thank you.